Hey, how's it going? I am Will, and after a two-year hiatus, I am back and making videos. Now, a lot has happened in the last couple of years, as you probably know. Uh, 2020, 2021, and 2022 as well just haven't been the best of years. And during that time as well, I have dropped off my training quite significantly, and it's something that I definitely need to improve on and get back. I've put on a couple of kilos, got a couple more gray hairs, but I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. I have been lucky enough to be selected to be part of the 99 Bikes Green Team for 2022. The e-bike that I have selected is the Merida e-big 9 300 SE. Bit of a long name, but basically it is a mountain bike uh, e-bike. So I've never had a mountain bike before. This is going to be awesome because, hey, I'm going to be able to do some mountain bike content as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting that. And of course, being an e-bike, it is also perfect for commuting, which I will be doing at least three days a week, if not five days a week to work. So I'm here at 99 Bikes in Lidcombe to meet the team and pick up my bike. Let's head in. Aftershocks headphones. I definitely recommend them. I'm wearing them now. This is the new bike. Excellent. Yeah, I've never had a mountain bike before, so. Not ridden a mountain bike before? Okay. No, I've been road bike for the last. And have you ridden an e-bike or? I've ridden an e-bike only when, you know, the higher ones in city, that okay. sort of thing. Yeah. So very limited e-bike usage. Yeah. So then this will be, um, this will be uh, another, 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 another world for you. Hello. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, Rob. Yeah, really <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'm glad you yeah. chose Lickham store. So yeah. tell, me, tell me about how you're going to be using the bike. Um, well, as a commuter bike to begin with, so going to and from work. Yeah. So I work in Silverwater, um, but I live in Parramatta, so it's about eight kilometers ride, which okay. is really nice along the river. You've got the river um, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so they're great. And with this, I might do a bit, just for the fun of it, off-road as well. Well, Sean's one so. of our off-road experts. He can yeah. give you a few tips. <laughs> so here's your, here's your display unit. Ah, oh, yep. So that's eco mode. Ah, oh, yep, with one bar. One bar. Yep. Trail. Trail for two bars. Right. And then boost mode. And boost mode for three bars. Great. We also have a nice little function with this bike, which is called walk. Yep. It's a little walk symbol. Oh, yep. So walk mode. And then you hold this down. Yep. And the bike will walk forward. Ah, oh, okay. So if you're pushing up steps, for example, you yep. don't want to ride up there, but also... I can, uh, yeah. You can just have the bike help itself up. You've got... Uh, range, distance, and odometer. Yep. At the moment in your eco mode, it's saying you've got 100 kilometers range. So in trail mode, you get to say 75 kilometers range. Yep. And then boost 50. Yeah. Probably around an eco <laughs> to kick off, but yep. hopefully you go and find some trails and then you can sort of pop it into trail mode and it, that one. it actually senses a bit more for you in terms of, I need more power now and yep. less power in different spots. Yep. And obviously you've got your gear ratios that you can run through as well. So yep. You kind of balance the boost that you're getting, <laughs> the assist, yep. at the gear that you've got as well. So that I'm yeah, yeah. moving uh, my cadence Because it can be a bit a of a trap consistent rate. that it's going to get you up any hill, yep. but you still need to be <laughs> helping it. And so yeah. coming into a steep, slippery hill, yep. you just need to be getting yourself into the right gear beforehand. Yeah, yeah. same as on a road bike, really. <laughs> So you've got hydraulic brakes on this. I don't know, yep. are you familiar with hydraulic brakes? Haven't used hydraulic brakes before, so. Something you'll need, should you end up with a puncture. Oh yeah. Is this. Okay. It's a brake spacer. If you have a look down in here. Yep. You can see the rotor goes through the pads. Oh yeah. If you take the front wheel out. Yep. And someone grabs a handful of front brake. Yep. The pads will want to stick together. So that's, that's your rotor. Yep. Which which the pads push up against. Ah, uh, yep, okay. Right. And so that space I just sits between the two. You do and you don't have quick release. Okay. So <laughs> in the rear there. The rear has a quick? Oh, uh, okay. Right. Ah. Yep. Right. Yep. And that'll just stay on the bike and obviously you need that to... That helps release, yep. So yep. you can charge on the bike or yep. you can take the battery off the bike and charge it. 
Okay. So right. probably the key things that you need to know. They're the main parts, the yeah. Most of it, you want to get out and actually sort of, you know, <laughs> play around with it. Right. You know, yep. Have a bit more fun. Uh, turning off and on as well. Yep. It's a good uh, practice to get into just to turn it on before you get it on the bike. Okay. So don't sit on it and turn it on. Yep. Before you get on the bike, turn it on. Yep. And then once it's here, here's there, here's your, first, here's your first error mode. Okay. W13. W13. Okay. Right. Yep. Because we switched it on and I had power through the cranks. Ah, okay. The motor goes into a safe mode. Yep. And that error message comes up. That's what W13 is. Okay. And there's the, yeah, the service that's included in a month or two's time as well. So yeah, I'll be back in during there, definitely. Yeah, we do that with all bikes actually, but yep. uh, you know, this one's no different, but in a couple of months, we'd like just to have a bit of a check over and make sure it's all still safe. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Well, the experience at 99 Bikes was absolutely awesome. The team was so friendly, uh, so full of knowledge as well, especially uh, Sean, who was the, I guess, resident mountain bike um, and somewhat e-bike expert. Uh, I asked him loads of questions. He was able to answer everything. It was great. And I've got some really awesome ideas for upgrades for the bike as well for future, when I eventually get to that. And for now, let's start enjoying this awesome new e-bike. It's gonna be an awesome 99 days. I am really looking forward to it. And I'm especially looking forward to not being in traffic over the next 99 days. And so to all the team at 99 Bikes, especially those at 99 Bikes Lidcombe, uh, Kathy, Rob, Sean, and all of your team, thank you so much for this wonderful Merida E-Big 9 300SE e-mountain bike. I am having an absolute blast cycling around in it at the moment and I know I'm going to have the most fun ever getting to know this bike and putting it through its paces over the next 99 days. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.